But the survivors and witnesses of the tragic events that unfolded will forever remember the images that they saw that day. Photographer Phil Penman, who was on the scene, he joins us with Leslie Haskin, who was in her office on the 36th floor of the North Tower when the plane hit. I'm going to start with you, Phil. Um, you're a photographer. You were doing what you do. Um, you heard what was happening. You ran down to the scene. You started taking photographs. I mean, the first question I had is, did you know that you were in danger by getting so close? Morning. Uh, to be honest, you're pretty much very unaware that you become like you're taken to another place. And you kind of there's that moment where you're you're photographing people and you, you really don't know if you can go through with it because you're seeing people at their weakest hour. But it was, you know, when it when it was all going down, it was very surreal. You know, I was I was looking up at the building, photographing the the flames coming out. And all of a sudden the building just you hear this rumble and it's coming down and you're looking for the viewfinder and you're just seeing the shards of the building getting closer and closer and you're totally, you know, you're completely unaware until you see that it's coming closer and closer to you. I was, I was about a city block and for me, like firemen ran past me and they were just like, run, run, run. And I ran into a music store that was right behind me. And it, it was, was there um, that you ended up, it was there that you ended up meeting someone, correct? That was part of, you had this close relationship with that person since then. Tell us about that. Yeah. Um, a lot of the people that I photographed that day, like I've since uh, reached out to, um, you know, there's a friend of mine, Joanne Capistro, who I photographed on that day. And we reunited after connecting through the September, the 9-11 museum. And she, mm -hmm. I actually photographed her wedding about 17 years later, which was nice. Mm -hmm. And then I was with her at the weekend. And there's a lot of the, a lot of the people that I photographed that day. I've since met with, or you know, I've stayed over at their house. Um, you know, had dinner with them. You know, it's been. If if I was to say anything nice that came out of this, it was the the connection that I made with the people that, yeah. from that I photographed that day. Absolutely amazing. You were with her probably on. On, definitely on her worst day and on her best day. Um, Leslie, you were on the 36th floor in that North Tower. Um, you lost 22 friends that day. You suffered um, through very severe PTSD. Tell us about that day. And also, I think so many people think, you know, it happened and, and don't really understand how long people carry that trauma with them. Yeah, um, you're right. I think from the moment the plane hit the building, we knew that it was only a matter of time because we heard the explosion, we felt the impact of it, and the building shook so violently and never really righted itself. Imagine going through a building in the stairs that were narrow and filled with smoke and seeing people and hearing people screaming and being burned alive. and where we came out of the building was where most of the jumpers were. So it's been 20 years of remembering that and hearing those sounds again. Mm. I'll never forget the sound of that building coming down. I'll never forget the sounds of people screaming and looking for help and those brave firemen who risked their lives and really gave their lives to go up those stairs to help some of my friends. Yeah, it's just, um as you describe it, I just can't even imagine. You say that what got you out of this was God. Tell us. Absolutely. It was after 9-11 and I, my son uh, talked to me about something that he'd heard in school. He went to a Christian school at the time and he was talking to me about a scripture that he learned in school. And for some reason it resonated with me. And I just went to the Lord that night and just prayed and I said, I don't love you because I don't know you. But if you really are the God that my mother said you were, if you really are the God that my father preached about, then I'm gonna need you to be bigger than this event for me. And I went on a journey then of discovering who God is and then learning again who I am and the strength that God gives us, each of us in the human spirit to really be able to overcome. Wow, what a message. He is bigger than the evil of that event and, um, and what happened that day and those people who caused that. 
Leslie, Phil, um, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Powerful.